In this video, we're gonna take a look at a cool new feature that was introduced in React 16 called Fragments. The React Fragment API solves a problem that because you have to return a single child from a React component, you often end up with lots of extra divs and containing elements that you don't actually need. So let's take a look at the code. Here I've got a simple table component that has a table and a table row, and then we render out this columns component. And within this columns component, I just have three table cells. And because we have to return a single element from a React component, I've just gone ahead and wrapped them in a div. Now, this is really annoying. If we go ahead and inspect the HTML, you'll see that our three table cells are wrapped in this extra div that we need to have because we can only return a single element. Now, this is annoying because we don't actually need this div and we don't actually want it. And it makes our table HTML actually incorrect because this is just, just there because of React. So React have solved this problem by introducing the fragment API. So if we go ahead and replace this div here with react.fragment, let me just get rid of that there. And then we go ahead and inspect this HTML again. We will see that the extra div has disappeared and we have the correct HTML that we expected. And this is great because it means we don't have to have all those extra divs and containing elements in our HTML, which just makes things nice and tidy. Now you can of course import this fragment in the same way that I import the component here. So you can get rid of the react dot there to make things slightly nicer. And there is actually an even shorter way to write this. It doesn't currently work on code sandbox, but in creator act app, it does work where you can get rid of the fragment keyword itself and you can just have the angle brackets and the closing angle bracket for your tag. And that will essentially insert a React fragment for you. But at the moment, most tools, you need to explicitly specify you want a fragment. Now you can pass a single prop to fragment at the moment, and that is the key prop. And that is only useful for when you want to iterate through a collection. For example, this array here, I'm just iterating through it and setting the key prop on the fragment to be the ID. At present, that's the only prop you can pass to a React fragment. And as I said, it's only really useful when you want to iterate through a collection like this. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.